Hi everyone, in this video we're gonna look into text and font styling though we have used a few of the properties already while we were working on our practical examples but let's look into these in a bit more details. So there are multiple like you know properties given over here so uh, when it comes to the text so of course like you can use multiple font styles and then you can use text layout styles. And some of the properties are like you can control the color, the font family, font size, font weight, you know, text alignment, the decoration of text. Uh, you want to have the text transformed to uppercase, lowercase, and you, or you want to capitalize it. You can control the indentation, letter spacing, line height, word spacing. Like there are plenty of these, and you can uh, uh, further reference these on MDN. Uh, but I have uh, listed down a few uh, key ones which we use mostly. Font families. So basically these are the font families uh, which uh, we have or we use most of the time. So the serifs. So in the serifs you would have uh, the fonts where you would have the small details at the ends of the strokes in some typefaces. Then we have sans serif, basically fonts that don't have serifs, those are sans serifs. Monospace, uh, typically used in coding listings if they're the font family is monospace. Cursive and fantasy, basically uh, to emulate the handwriting and some decorative fonts if you want to use. So there you would use the cursive and fantasy font families. These are some of the resources uh, like you know available uh, for the web fonts but mainly uh, we'll be using uh, in this vid uh, in this course we'll be using uh, google fonts uh, styling lists so lists can be styled uh, with by, by controlling some of its properties like lists list style type you can have none or you know circle or square even you can uh, give some image also as its style you can have the list style position whether it has to be inside or outside most of the time when it comes to the list so uh, usually we, we would not use the styles yeah but it, it is your choice that how you want to do it and with the help of just by controlling some of the properties you can have a nav bar like you know with the help of uh, a list and we would see that in action that how we can do that the start attribute allows you to start the list counting from a number other than one by default it is one reversed uh, if you want to have the list uh, numbering going from uh, like you know uh, the, the, the bigger number to the smaller number and the value attribute allows you to set the list item to a specific numerical value styling links so uh, it is very important it's uh, we, we we would use some of the pseudo classes to style the links uh, link states so the what are the link states like when the link is active or uh, when it is like you know just a link when it has been visited when you are hovering over the mouse when it got a focus uh, for example with the help of a keyboard you know or when the uh, we already discussed active so for that the pseudo classes classes which we would use like dot link uh, sorry the, the 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 colon and the link then the colon the visited and hover and then focus and then active and we would see uh, that how we can use these uh, uh, pseudo classes to style our links so in our practical example uh, we're gonna uh, move one step further in this video and we would be um, uh, styling one or we would be making one full nav bar where we would be having the the, the, the navigation links which you, you would usually see on the top of the page and then and we would be having kind of a simple text logo as well and then we would be having a hero image which would be like you know uh, after the nav bar which would be on our page and then we would have some text on the top of uh, that and then we would have a different styled uh, button link uh, below that text so let's see that that how we can do it i'll go to my v visual studio code and let's create a new folder i'm gonna open and i'll go to desktop And let's create a new folder like fonts styling something like this open 
and I'll have index.html, HTML5, and let's have a new folder CSS. And in that, I'm gonna create a new file style.css. Let's link this file. So, link CSS and CSS slash style.css. So, this is our page. Okay, let's have some uh, contents. So as I said that on the top, we would be having a nav bar. So let's have a nav element. And inside that nav element, we would have our links uh, in a list. So we would have one list like UL and then LI list item. And this is going to be, and this is going to be a link, right? So I would say link pointing to nowhere. And the text is going to be let's say home let me copy I'm being a bit lazy here and and let's say this is about us then this is services and then this is contact us okay so this is our link then let's have one logo and for that I would have a paragraph element and I would say let's call it skills this is our logo and we would style it okay so this is our nav bar and after the nav bar I can have and in fact let's put everything something like we can put it in a header I'm going to put it exactly as it works on our web pages so this is just uh, the semantic elements I'm trying to use okay in that one I would have a section and let's call it section hero so this is a section yeah in that section I would have a paragraph element and I would say main heading and let's say every second counts okay and after that we're gonna have uh, one another paragraph in that let's call it button and this is going to be like something like learn more in that i would say that let's have a button pointing to nowhere and we'll give the classes like you know as we feel necessary that whatever the classes we need to give and let's say learn more as we would be styling okay first of all let's have a look that how our web page looks i know horrible but let's have a look that if everything is working fine and yeah this is our so without the css you can see that nothing much is going on and you would see shortly that how we can style it so first thing first our uh, overall font and uh, some re resetting of the CSS you know and some box sizing so we will define and some fonts so for the fonts I would use let's browse some of the Google fonts if I have it opened here so we already use Roboto in one of our example let's use Lato here and i'm gonna select this 100 again like you know select only what you need so i think i may be in need of 100 and 300 yeah so i will copy this and before my style sheet i will copy this google fonts and that's how i can define the font family and the font family is going to be where in html so if that's my font family what else i need to say box sizing and box sizing is equal to the border box and font size let's say 10 pixel then i have the universal selector pseudo element before and then pseudo element after and i say box sizing is equals to inherit margin is equals to zero that is padding is equals to zero yeah let's see where we are and yeah looks very tiny at the moment and all the styling has been reset and the font 
uh, is the new new font has been given over here so you can see on the top left corner yeah okay now what i will do i will have it side by side so we can have a look both our page and the styling at the same time so let's give me let's give it uh, a, this url a class of let's say menu yeah and now i can say that menu i want the list style is equals to none okay so my list style has gone let me say if i can define the font size here as well and i would say 1.8 ram and you know what is ram by now so yeah this is fine then so this is my font size dot menu and all the allies in that one let's say display is equals to inline block if i say so now all of my uh, links are coming on the same line the moment i said that before those were like you know the full block elements taking the word full full width of the page and you can see like you know how where 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 this is going yeah okay let me go back okay so the display is inline block and let's give all of our a elements a class so i'm gonna i'm pressing command and option and then i'm pressing the down arrow so I can select multiple lines here I would say class is equals to menu and links yeah then I can say menu links and that's going to be text decoration is going to be none okay text transform is going to be uppercase and see this is come getting coming through color is going to be number three 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 yeah and here it is okay now okay my nav bar on my nav bar i can say that padding is going to be two rem yeah and for the moment i would give it a background color as well so just to see like you know what is happening what is going on where is my nav bar and uh, uh, where are my other elements yeah okay now i need a bit of a space uh, in between these elements like a home about our services so how i can do that so this is my ally if i say that margin left to run and you can see that you know they are spaced a little bit okay now my this skills element i want to have it right after this and if we see this is still a paragraph which is a full block level element so it's going on on the full line yeah you can see over here so for that okay let's give it a class and i would say logo text and dot logo text and if i say display so i'm still I'm, I'm using the techniques till this point which we have learned you know we haven't gone through the layouts like kind of floats or the flex box or the css grid so i'm not using those i'm only using what we have learned and trying to fit my uh, layout with the help of those uh, techniques which we have learned till now so i would say inline block okay well that's not working why is that okay p class is equals to logo text skills okay and the reason for that is let's inspect so okay so like okay i got it so my ul 
the list it is still a full block level element yeah so that is pushing my paragraph to the next one so even if my paragraph is now uh, you can see it is not taking the full word so that's where your developer tools come re come you know really handy where you can immediately see that what's going on so now for that what i can do as you might have guessed it so my menu this is my ul element so display inline block if that is also in the inline block so now you can see that my skills you know uh, is coming on the same line now i want this skills to be on the right hand side uh, and for that what i would do because i haven't we, we haven't gone through any of uh, the layouts yet so i would use the technique which we have learned that is absolute positioning okay so my logo text is part of what it's part of nav bar yeah so my nav bar needs to be uh, having a relative position and my logo text should be a an absolute position and before that let me give it font size so we can see it let's say 3 rem and text transform that is uppercase okay font weight 300 yeah it's still the same by default it was 300 and what else letter spacing letter spacing i can say 0.2 gram okay yeah look like this this looks good maybe the font size can be a little bit more something like 3.5 rem or maybe even 4 rem yeah i like it okay now this is fine now even for my links also while i am working on the letter spacing so where are my links okay this is my menu 1.8 ram i would say 2 ram yeah and then I can over here say letter spacing and that's point to run and that is good okay now on my nav bar I need to define the position and that's going to be relative and the reason I'm doing it it doesn't change anything but the reason I'm doing it because I need to define one of its child as the absolute position and that is my logo text position is equals to absolute and the moment i do that it has gone somewhere wherever like you know okay now i can adjust so i can say that right is equals to 3 rem and let's see where it is gone it has come on the right exactly i wanted and top is equals to zero pixels or zero we can say it is and or rather i would say 50 percent as we did before yeah and then i can transform translate i only need to translate y minus 50 percent so it would be exactly in the middle so yeah this is looking good uh, now I want to have some hover effects for my links and for that yeah we will do that and then the hero image in the next video.